Hey everybody. I'm finally getting around to uh, a little tutorial on how to tie up the wearable dead eyes uh, so you can wear them around your necks. So um, this is an example of how I've got one of my own tied up and you can see it's got a, a nice clean knot at the at the center there and around the back it's got uh, kind of a another knotted system, but this one lets you uh, loosen the loop for getting it around your head and then tighten it up so that you know you can wear it at your preferred length or you know if you're if you're bouncing around jogging whatever uh, you can tighten it up so it's not going to be jangling around your neck or knocking you in the teeth or anything. So this is what we're going for. Um, this is what we're starting with. So the uh, you can you can use any cord really. This is just some some uh, random nylon utility cord that I didn't really like for Bugleri, but uh, it's nice and bright. It'll show up okay in the tutorial, and it's a uh, it's about the right thickness. Uh, it's about two millimeters, so two seventy five paracord works well. Um, it's nice and soft if you gut the paracord, pull the insides out, and then you end up with a nice uh, a nice supple shell uh, and it's nice and durable and you can pick whatever color you want because 275 is available in any color of course um, or the the waxed cotton cord that I ship these with I prefer it it's got a nice fine weave to it it's cotton which kind of feels feels good on the skin and the waxed cotton is particularly good because it helps those knots stay tight and snug so it's you know, it's a nice kind of clean finish and something a little bit more natural than the um, nylon or acrylic uh, 275 paracord. Anyways, <clears throat> what uh, what I ship these with is a, a strand of paracord that's, or of a waxed cotton cord, which is about uh, three and a half feet long or, uh, you know, a little bit over a meter. And you want to start by folding it in half, uh, but not quite half. So you want to give yourself an inch or so of uh, extra length on one end, okay? And then uh, what we're going to do is is slip this through the center of the dead eye. The folded end goes just straight through the center. And then you, we'll make a kind of a slip knot over it. Or well, not a slip knot, but you know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, terminology doesn't really matter. Uh, so this is actually fine. Like you, this will stay in place just fine. You don't need anything more than this, really. But you know, if this loosens, there there is a chance that the loop will slip off and uh, you lose your you lose your dead eye. Uh, I've never had that happen to me, but I tend to tie these up with an extra little knot right here that helps to keep this loop in place. So you can see on. On this one here, I've got, the, you can see the extra little strands of cord there, and that helps to keep this bottom loop from slipping over. And you can, you can still slip it off, uh, but it, it's, uh, you know, it just stays in place a little bit better. Uh, anyways, so what we do to get that little extra knot, if you want it, is you want to find your longer end of the cord. So that's this one for me. And we're going to use that long end to tie a double overhand knot around the shorter cord. Okay, so it's going to go around here. So the the two loops and the double overhand start start on the I guess the uphill side, and you do one loop. Don't make the loops too big, otherwise it's going to going to be hard for you to keep the knot tidy looking as you pull it tight. So nice tidy little loop, and then working towards the downhill side, you start uphill, work towards the downhill side. Uh, and you do your second loop and you go again all the way around and under. And then with those two loops, you feed up from the bottom and go through both loops. Okay. And don't, don't rush to pull that tight. Uh, you want to get most of the slack out of there. And then as you're tightening, you want to be tidying the knot. Uh, so I start on the uphill side and I kind of, with my thumb, I usually just kind of push the slack around, feed it through the the knot so that when you finally pull it tight, I don't know if you can see that, when you finally pull it tight, this knot is 
pretty down, pretty close down to the loop that we're trying to hold in place. Okay, so that's roughly the look that we're going for. You can see that the knot is not quite in the right spot. So we can we can fix that in two ways. Uh, one way is this is this is uh, a kind of a slip knot system now where I've got the knot tied around a loose strand of cord. So I could I could just pull the slip knot down. Uh, towards that loop and then work the slack through the slip knot and, and pull pull out the other side. Um, the other way is you know if you've got if you've got your your two ends pretty even and you want to keep it that way uh, then you start again on the uphill side and you want to just pull some slack down pull pull some slack and you'll work the knot down towards the loop. Pull that slack out use your other thumb to hold it in place and then work that slack through the knot. See, see, I've got the slack down at the bottom now, and then I pull, and the knot's closer down to the bottom, and if I just use my thumb to push it down, then I've got it pretty much in place. So the finished knot will have, uh, usually have uh, like an kind of an X on it. You can see an X on this, uh, where the strands of the cord cross. And then on the other side, I've got two parallels. And you can, you know, if you prefer the look of one or the other, it's pretty easy just to kind of fiddle with it and, and get the X on one side and the parallels on the other side. Uh, but yeah, so that's, that's basically what we're going for. And then this system is nice because this knot is going to help keep the, the loop in place. But we can still pop that loop over if we want. And then if you want to take the dead eye off, all you need to do is just slide it over so you've got most of the loop on one side. And then it should be just big enough to slip it around and pop the dead eye off, right? So if you want to pop it off, play with it a little bit, then put it back on. Then again, to get it back on, you just slide the loop through the hole, then open the loop up, pass the dead eye through, and then pull it back up and then just pop the loop back over. And I always kind of tighten everything back up again after I've done that. Okay. Then, uh, so that's the first step, first stage. Next thing that you do is the, the adjustable system for tying it around your neck. So this is actually the very same process and we're just gonna do that at the two, uh, at the top on on either side, so I've got actually more paracord than I need, and a little bit more than fits in the frame here. But uh, I'll just do it a little bit tight so that you can all see. So again, you wanna you wanna get it into the system, or sorry, into the into the arrangement that you want here. So you want these two ends wrapped around, and you want to be able to pull them to tighten up that loop around your neck. So give yourself enough space, and then we want to start. Uh, <laughs> the uphill and downhill terminology doesn't work here, but you start on, on the side that you're working towards and then you work back from that to do your two loops. Again, this is just a double overhand knot. So you've got, I've got my two loops and then I pass my cord back through. This is the original direction that that cord was pointing. So I, I do my two loops going that direction and then I pass the cord back through this way. and. Now you can see I've got my slip knot or my, my double overhand knot tied on the other piece of paracord. So the other strand can slide freely here. And I can get it as like, a, you know, I can cinch it up nice and tight so that it'll stay in place. Uh, but then if you give it a, a pull, it'll still slide for you. And do the same thing on the other side. So here you can see the original direction that this is going is this way. So I'm gonna do my two loops back towards the other knot. One, two, and I haven't been very careful with uh, tightening this one, but you can see it's not rocket science. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice. I've, I've tied plenty of these knots and so it comes kind of second nature to me, but but uh, that's basically it. So you can see here, uh, I've got my two knots tied up. If I want to uh, loosen this up to get it over my big fat head, then I can slide it into a nice big loop there or tighten it up around my neck. 
you can see that I have not done it very evenly. And so what, what I normally do for myself is I, I'll tie it roughly like this and then I'll kind of try it on, decide where I want it to sit on my neck, how much space I need to get it over my head. And then I'll just adjust one of these knots so that it's uh, you know more, more even with the other knot. So if I wanted to do this one, for example, you can see this knot would have to travel down towards here. So you know, it looks like about, about an inch. So I want to feed through about an inch of slack there. So I find my loose strand and I would, I want to pull through about an inch of slack. I don't know, that's probably roughly it. And then pull it back. And let's see, yeah, that brings me a fair bit closer. Quite, not quite perfect still, but you know, it's good enough for the people I run with. Anyways, hope that helps everybody. Uh, if you have any more questions, shoot me a note uh, or leave a comment below and we'll see if I can help you. But yeah, enjoy your dead eyes and uh, yeah, I hope, hope everybody you know, gets these set up and you know, I look forward to seeing photos online. All right, thanks again for all the support and take care.